16 years does. This banana wasn't the greatest, so I'm giving it to you. Wow. Because you like bananas that are brown. But on this is not even. Like, this is bad. What do you mean? Is, is it bad? It don't even taste like banana. It Today? It's like a diet banana. Light. It's not almost no taste. So there's such thing as diet bananas? It's a new thing. <laughs> okay. Can I have a diet banana, please? <laughs> hey guys. So we just got out of church and we're trying to figure out what to do now. We wanted to go for a walk, but quickly dismissed that. My feet were hurting anyway. I'm wearing heels. I'm trying to be cute, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't bring flats. 101, rule number one. When you wear heels, bring flats. And this mama did not bring flats. So we have name tags at church and Donald was holding Donald. And Donald was sucking on the name tag. You see why I don't like Donald? <laughs> Emmanuel. Baby D. Anything but Donald. Anyway, Donald was holding Baby D and Baby D was sucking on the name tag and it looks like that nastiness right there. Yeah, right there. And so it's nice and stuck on there. I don't even know how we're gonna get that. Look at that. Cool. Anyway, we're going to Toys R Us. I think we're going to get the boys some walkers, right? a store that does price match make sure you go on Amazon to see what the price is online and they will price match it if it's cheaper so we're really liking this um, walker for the boys because they're they're just getting a little bit more active and the jumper is not quite cutting it in their developmental stage right now even though it says 6 to 12 months but they're very much um, ready to start walking so why not get them something that'll facilitate that? I want to also get a bassinet for the boys too because um, when they start working, as in like with their acting, modeling type thing, then um, sometimes it's long days and we want them to be comfortable. So we want to get like a bassinet attachment for our stroller so they're able to sleep. Is that yummy? I don't think it's for eating, baby. I don't think that's for eating, baby. Can mommy have it? Here you go. Take this. He's like, I guess so. Still gonna play with it though. Hi, Ephraim. <laughs> Hi, my love. <laughs> he giving me a smile. <laughs> he giving me smiles. Where's your neck at, Evie? Where's your neck? Let me show them your teeth. You see those two teeth? You see those teeth? Those so cute. Ephraim, so cute. Seriously, being in a toy store makes you want to get everything for your kid. Home sweet home. Just got in from church and Babies R Us. Uh, it was a success. We got the walkers for the boys finally. And we also got some training toothpaste that'd be fun but yeah so we're putting the boys down for now Kella, Kella and I be able to have some us time we'll watch some TV or just knock out take a nap ourselves whichever and right after I finish setting up the boys walk around things bright stuff I'm a little excited to see the boys in it see how they do 
I'm sure they're gonna jump at first and then when they're not jumping they'll be a little confused they'll figure it out so, I don't want to put them in there right now nah let them sleep they're both tired at least they should be they'll probably go down for a few hours and we'll be all right hey guys the family just woke up from a much needed nap and look at this little one he's kind of doing a partial hold he knows how to hold his bottle i just want to hold him look at ify he is holding his bottle so well but they both started this new thing when they're like ah. when they're done they're like okay I can't wait to show them their new walker and I'm curious to see if they're gonna jump in it. Where are you going? He's literally doing this himself y'all. He wants to get on the floor. No BBD, no no. He's actually come to appreciate the boppies again. We didn't think we were going to use it this late in the game, but now that they're feeding themselves, we propped them on the boppy so they could feed themselves uh, themselves with the bottle. So that's wonderful. Kind of feel like I'm getting my money's worth with the boppies now. As we expected, the boys have no clue what to do with it. Do you guys not like it or, or what? Baby D, looks like you, you kind of get in the hang of it, bro. Come over here. So you oh, oh, look here. He's trying to do a combination of jumping and walking. <laughs> you playing bumper cars with your brother? Oh wow, he knew how to back it up. Let's go, let's go. Oh my goodness. Look at you. This suits your personality so well. Do you give it a thumbs up? Ephraim is like, I don't like this. Do you rather wear a jumper room? Come Ephraim. He's just letting his feet drag. <laughs> this is quite hilarious because as you guys know, Ephraim is the chill, mellow twin and Donald is the twin that loves to rough and tumble and play and run and jump and scream and Ephraim is just like I don't really care for this right now meanwhile his brother is like all over the place I love to see you so happy and I'm sad to see you so sad so it begins little old man over here wanted to see what's inside the box and knocked it all over it's definitely time to put up the baby gates Last thing we want is them over there by the steps. Or to be in the kitchen cooking and here comes baby D. Ephraim? Not so much. He's chilling. I don't think he's moved more than three feet from where he started. So he's not going anywhere yet. But he's getting it. So we finally decided to brush their teeth. Because they get little teethies now. He likes it. <laughs> he's like, keep going. Keep going. You know, Ephraim don't like trying new things, y'all. He's like, this is the nastiest thing I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Ephraim! He's like, no, why are you covering, closing your eyes? So this is the magic opening pot. A Swedish folk tale. One day, just before Christmas, a poor old former and his wife decided that they need to sell their last cow and they had no money left. Okay, you just read the story normally. Do you see what I gotta deal with? As the former walks sadly to the market with the cab. That's why you do these kids. Very He's not strange interested. little man on the road. Come here, baby. He had a long mm. white beard right down to, to his toes, which were bare. Right down to his toes, which were bare, and he wore a huge black hat under which the former could only just see them. Welcome to the Jose shop. Oh, 
<laughs> They're holding the bottles now, and Baby D is officially pro. Yep, Baby D, he got it down, pet.